Ciao, my dear co-creators. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I was surfing uh, and on a Facebook, my account, I saw uh, something in what I follow group and they posted um, something about a girl called Gina from Instagram. Uh, she's uh, definitely a survivor of anorexia and she um, loves her body right now. And that's amazing to see this kind of transformation and to be an inspiration for a lot of people uh, who are struggling with uh, any disorder, any disorder. Uh, I want to share uh, with you my story and to inspire you just to love yourself the way you are right now. Because let's assume you have to lose 40 pounds right now you have more uh, body fat than needed and you want it now but it would happen right now it wouldn't be so healthy for you wouldn't be because it will hurt so the journey from A to B should be pleasant for you should be something joyful for you and that's why this video to make this journey more happier uh, to show you that you're not the only one who's struggling with the same image of yourself same perception of you to show you that you are a loving being an amazing being and worthy being and with my story i want you to ins to inspire you to be the best version of you even though you have that belly fat even though you are maybe not where you want to be just to show you with an example also of Gina that we are perfect just the way we are I think she has a hashtag embrace the squish uh, she had a, a photo of herself uh, made the same photo doesn't look like that because in one photo uh, she has her belly or squished and she you see belly fat and the rolls and the other picture uh, she's all lean and um, a lot of pictures with girls uh, with like two three months pregnant belly they're not pregnant but it looks like and that's what PMS looks like postmenstrual uh, syndrome or premenstrual syndrome uh, to uh, what does it with our body is bloated uh, and I have the same I have the same issues how many of us because of the hormones because um, certain vibration we have about us our thoughts our vibration we uh, an emotion we have our body certain way the way it is so how many times did you eat like me uh something and like um kale and it made you bloated you know it's like bomb your belly is like your farting machine and you are embarrassed about it like I am uh, you don't like it you want to be flat all the time but it's impossible and this video is for all of us to understand that it's normal everybody has it and to embrace it because society gives us another message about that another message you have to be certain way you have to be lean you have to be flat and wow for a lot of us it's um it's difficult to us to maintain that kind of uh image and that kind of uh appearance because there are a lot of factors uh for that and I want you to relax. I want you to um, know that even girls in a magazine don't look like girls in a magazine. 
and that it's so normal to be just the way you are. I want you to show you my belly when I'm not sitting. Uh, I'm working out. I have uh, two kids and uh, my belly button is definitely different the way it was uh, before my pregnancy. So I considered my belly much more beautiful uh, before the pregnancy. Um, this is how it looks when I sit down. This is what she's talking about, the rolls. Uh, I used to be irritated about that because, um, yeah, uh, it, they should be uh, like gone, you know? But it is uh, normal, it's your skin. It's a little bit uh, of fat there or more, it doesn't matter what you have but you're still amazing person, a worthy person. It's only your little role, you have to embrace it and fall in love with it to be uh, able to be happy. Because as long as this condition, this is condition, people, the condition, you say basically, when my belly is flat, I will be happy. Absurd, right? Because uh, sometimes it will be flat, but sometimes you just can't, even though maybe you're working out, but uh, you eat certain food or PMS is starting, um, you just can't uh, have that flat stomach all the time. Uh, we should talk about this more and embrace it. That's normal because all those propaganda magazines, covers, all those girls don't look like themselves anymore because it's too photoshopped, it's too filtered. Uh, if you know what I mean, for I have a daughter, beautiful Carice, she's uh, almost five years old, and I teach her to love her body, to embrace every part of it. Let us as parents, as sisters, as friends, girlfriends to each other, not body shame, and man also, but body praise, body love, show the love for everybody and be less judgmental, be more love and kind. Okay, people will definitely will judge anyways. Um, that's something, again, what you cannot control. But you can control, you can control yourself. You can control the way you look to, you, to at yourself, to yourself. You have to fall in love with yourself first. Nobody can hurt you then. You know, because it's their opinion. I always quote, I think Dita Fontis or somebody else uh, said this, but doesn't matter. But it goes like this. You could be the most juiciest peach, the most beautiful juiciest peach in the world. There are still people who, who don't like or who hate peaches. So... Wow, you can't sat satisfy people, but you should satisfy yourself. But your, your perception of you is mostly based on the perception of others. You see yourself uh, through the eyes of others. Maybe somebody bullied you at school, told you something bad, um, told you you're fat, you're ugly, maybe your boyfriend left you. That's why you developed a lot of uh, insecurities and you think that's you. No, that's not you. You are more than your body. You are soul. You're non-physically here as well. You are amazing, beautiful, and your thoughts, um, your thoughts are create creating your life and your body because if you have negative um, opinion about yourself the law of the universe will support that and you will feel more bad so we are here to embrace our body just the way it is 
uh, if you need to work out to feel better, if you need to follow certain diet to feel better, do it. But just do it in beautiful way. Way. Don't do it because of others. Do it constructive. Do it positive. Uh, being anorexic or bulimic is a disorder. You can change that if you change the way you think here. Because how many times we saw an anorexic girl so thin, so sick, and she still thinks she's fat because that's her perception of herself but when she sees herself uh, in the mirror and uh, her appearance. What we can do is uh, we can educate our kids, first ourselves and then our kids to love their bodies, to um, not care what other people think of them, to educate them that they are creators of their own experience, uh, to educate them that they know uh, that their inner being loves them, soul part of them, adores them, and that they don't need validation from others. We should teach our kids uh, to uh, what is definitely sexuality uh, in a good way because you see it in a video clips everywhere like porn uh, to, to really explain them what is really love what is artificial and not to go with the masses like with all respect you can learn uh, from everybody but um to be um to follow somebody who really ch uh, changes their appearance with plastic surgery uh, and um showing that way that they are not happy we should teach our ch children that they have the freedom to do it. How I see this is if somebody wants a boob job, they should really know that boob job is temporary solution. Because I met in my life many girls who did something to their body, um, but uh, they're still unhappy. I, I'm, I'm born with fat lips. I was bullied that I did something to my lips. How you have like a, a neg negro lips. But I was confident enough to not care what they think. I, I, alwa I always loved my lips. I didn't feel bad because of that. Because my confidence level was big. But I can imagine that people are offended or um, hurt by other people. We should teach our kids that hurt people hurt people and that they should listen to their inner being who loves them, adores them, uh, supports them, think they are the most beautiful creatures on this planet and that everybody who give, give them feedback like positive or negative um, doesn't actually matter it matters what you think about yourself that's what I teach to my kids and last thing I want to say uh, when I was like 17 18 years old I was bulimic uh, because my parents uh, were divorced for a few years and due to situation circumstances I saw my mom only in, in the summer vacations and I miss her a lot so I started to eat I was always sporty uh, I didn't do drugs I can do drugs because I don't like it I'm afraid of it so I was eating to fill the void filled something emotionally pain that I felt because I was uh, not with my mom and I missed her a lot so I was eating and working out, but I was gaining weight because I was purging myself. I was eating a lot, uh, uh, especially at night. And then I started one time to, uh, uh, one night to um, put my finger, you know, in my throat and I throw up, but I hate it. I hate throwing up. Uh, I cried. 
I didn't like it. So I was on the internet and uh, searching for some solutions because I didn't smoke, I didn't do drugs. I was so healthy, but I understood that I had a problem and I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to uh, throw up through my whole life and, and have, oh, terrible. I, I, I was so ashamed of it. So what I did, uh, because my family used to smoke back then and I was so non-smoker who just judged everybody who was smoking and I was um, a sip of my coffee and I was um, searching on the internet and I saw uh, somewhere somebody telling uh, answering the question how can you um, just eat less and somebody said yeah you should smoke because because of the smoke uh, smoking cigarettes um, you don't have that appetite anymore so believe me or not when I was 21 I started to smoke I hated first I just hated I cried but I thought like I I rather smoke and be uh, thinner than to um, than to uh, throw up so I got addicted because uh, nicotine is addictive so I was um, smoking few years and believe me or not smoking cured me from being bulimic I'm not telling you to do the same Smoking is bad for your health as well. But what it did to me, uh, it restored my relationship with the food. I don't say it's a good way, but I'm sharing my story to tell you uh, that I had to uh, choose for uh, something else to uh, help myself. Luckily, I helped myself. I never had um, problems with food like that. And I quit smoking uh, before I got my kids, so I'm clean. I never smoke uh, smoked again, uh, and I love it. So, if this uh, video can inspire inspire you to love your body just the way you are, you have to fall in love with you right now. Um, Believe me, I work with people as a coach. Uh, there are a lot of beautiful people uh, I work with, and you see, you should assume, and when you see them, they are so, they have it all like looks, they look good, they are healthy, and they're still insecure. It's like common disease, like self worth. So if you watch this video, I want you to know that as long as you do not accept yourself you're never gonna be happy so accept the way you are nobody can use that for, uh, against you and you'll be happy and you will inspire other people as well just want to share a little story with you a girl uh, I saw uh, also on Facebook uh, she has it's a girl she has a facial hair a lot because of disorder hormonal disorder that she has and she was bullied she wanted to kill herself and she 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 wanted to uh, laser that but it was too much and too painful waxing so she decided to grow a beard and she has a big beard right now but she's such an example to accept our body just the way they are. Uh, maybe you don't like something and you see uh, other people don't have that. But it makes you unique, you know. It makes your scar, your, your, your anything you have, it, it's so unique. There is one, one you. And please, please, if you watch this, fall in love, in love with you first. Put on your beautiful notebook positive affirmations about you. Positive affirmations. Maybe at first you won't believe it, but the more you tell that to yourself, in front of the mirror would be the best thing to do. Your affirmations will become beliefs and what is belief just a thought you kept thinking all over and over again and you you started to believe in it so please 
affirm beautiful things about yourself and your body. Uh, don't body shame. Be less judge judgmental. Be more loving and kind um, to yourself first, and then you will be kind to others because hurt people hurt people. People who are happy, people who vibrate high, they never bully other people. So understand others who bully, they have major problem with their, with themselves. Thank you for watching. Uh, please, if you have any uh, suggestion, question, I want to hear your story. Comment below. And uh, after this... Uh, I wish you the most beautiful journey ever. You're starting a new life, a new chapter, chapter where you love yourself. And unapologetically and unconditionally. Thank you for uh, watching and having fun here with me, raising, raising the vibration. And uh, talk to you soon. Big love and kisses from Anna. Ciao.